leadership is one of the things that we have the biggest need for in this industry. It's crazy to see the lack of leadership that we face in our generation. Millennials this day and age are always looking for the get rich quick, the how do we just do it with the least amount of work. They're looking for, okay, where, where can I find just sitting back and making great money? Well, the fact of the matter is, is no one on this planet makes money by just sitting there and never accomplished really anything. It takes grind. And so the biggest thing is creating future leaders. And how you do that is basically knowing how to inspire impact into your reps. So if you look back, and Wooden is one of the greatest examples of any leader or coach, and he came out the pyramid of success. And the very, very top thing, or his little top thing of the pyramid is competitive greatness. And he just talks about the difference between somebody that's willing to do something that's extremely challenging and willing to do something when the going gets tough, they get going. And that's one of the things that we're slowly losing. It's so funny to see like in sports teams and things like that, coaches are inspired to say, oh, you did a great job even though you lost, everyone gets medals. It's like a bad thing to say, you lose, you win. And we're losing that competitive greatness in our, in our generation today. And people are starting to, to fall back with like equality and everything needs to be the same. But the problem is, is to be a great leader, you have to have that itch to be great. And so if you are not setting your company, your team, your reps up with an awesome culture that's impactful, that's challenging, that inspires crazy work ethic, and the proper guidance, you're going to lose people fast. And the problem is, is if you're not instilling the right principles into your reps, they're going to go somewhere else where they feel more fulfilled. Too many times in this day and age, we have tier one leaders. I did a previous video, if you want to look for it on the group, that talks about the difference between tier one and tier two leadership. But a tier two leadership is the people that we really strive to become. And that means we have total abundance. We're looking for the collective. We're looking to make an impact on our people's lives. Instead of a tier one where they're scarce, they're, they're super like closed-minded, it's me, 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 it's ownership feeling. In this day and age, in the door-to-door society, too many people think they have to be this owning type leader and that's what's gonna keep their people around because they don't want them to leave or they don't want them to ask for more money or they don't wanna find this out. But the problem is, is that just pushes people away even more. Now think about it, do you wanna be owned? And so in leadership, one of the key principles is knowing how to be abundant, how to add massive value so you can create massive impact for your people. And in this day and age, that's where you're gonna find people that thrive. So as we go grow, we need to be able to have people feel like they can grow under us. That's some of the key principles to leadership, especially in door to door.